What's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? It's Uncle Muscles. Hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to use NVIDIA image scaling on Halo Infinite, which really boosts your FPS very, very, very high, even on unsupported hardware. The only problem is you have to use a reduced resolution, which isn't so easy to do within Halo Infinite because it only has windowed uh, display mode. So if you want to get image scaling to work with Halo Infinite, I'm going to show you a couple tricks to get it to work, and it should be pretty good if you're on a 16x9 monitor. Um, these resolutions won't work if you're on a 21x9 monitor, but I guess if you use some quick math skills, you can probably find a calculator online and figure out what's a good resolution for you. Um, anyway, the other thing is that it's a little difficult for me to record this video, so you got to bear with me here because I'm it wasn't exactly how I wanted to do it. This is like the fifth time I've tried to record it. So um, I'm going to try to do this now again in this setup. Hopefully everything works out. But the first thing you want to do is make sure you have NVIDIA, NVIDIA image scaling activated. And this is going to allow you to um, use the reduced resolutions. So it's in your manage 3D settings when you go into your NVIDIA control panel. right? You go to manage 3D settings. And uh, this is the option. You can also use the overlay indicator here if you want. Um, but all you need to do is activate it, and you can click this here. If it's, It'll show up on the top left whether or not it's activated. In fact, if I hit it right now, let's just see if it goes without having to have me restart. But I would recommend for you guys to restart. Yeah, you can actually see it right now. So it's actually, it's actually working right now. Um, the image scaling is on. Uh, also, I have sharpened up to 100. This is all subjective, how you want your sharpening to look. Um, this doesn't actually affect the, at least to my knowledge, it does not affect the hardware itself. It's just how the image gets rendered out. So it, it'll be more blurry, which could look more cinematic, if that makes sense, or it, it blends the colors together. Now, I don't know if that's better for an FPS. I think I want everything as sharp as possible because when it's sharper, that means it's all pixelated and you can actually see exactly where you're trying to shoot. Now, it's going to look like dog water, but it's not going to, you know, it's not going to blend the image. So that way, when you're shooting, you're not going to be shooting on the wall, essentially. So this is, I have the sharpening up to 100. But like I said, this is probably subjective. I think most people who are just doing this for like a more cinematic and more like relaxed experience, they might want to have it down a bit. Um, but once again, this is the same, this is essentially the same functionality that's within the game. I have both sharpens up all the way. Um, and I don't know if that matters, but you can see once again, if it's activated by using the overlay indicator, I'm going to, no, we'll just leave it on for now. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if I'm even going to run the game. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. So you want to turn this on and have it activated. Now, if this doesn't work, you need to update your firmware. Um, I believe it's, this is working at, I know on at least 10 series cards. I think it works on nine series. It works for like every series card, I think. Um, the async compute option within Halo, that you don't want to run below a 10 series on NVIDIA. Also, this should work on AMD cards as well. Um, I just, I'm not familiar with the FSR infer interface, um, but this should theoretically wor have worked on AMD cards before, well, whatever, Halo just came out, so it doesn't really count, but whatever, this works with, AMD cards as well. You just need to activate it, and then you need to find a reduced resolution in Halo, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. Um, this is going to, once you turn this on, this should work. If it, It's going to probably ask you to restart your computer. Um, I would recommend just making some new resolutions first, and then restarting your computer. I'm not going to restart my computer, but you should restart your computer, because otherwise this probably won't work the first time. Um, anyway, so when you're in your in your resolution or in your NVIDIA control panel, you're going to want to add some custom resolutions. So let's see if this even, even works because the last time it didn't when I tried to record the video. Okay, cool, it does. I have some pre uh, made resolutions here. Um, I came up with this from a list of resolutions. Let's see if I can bring it out here. Okay, yeah. So I have actually like a list of resolutions that I found on the internet. Uh, and these are all 16 by nine. Like I said, if you have, if you're running like a 21 by nine monitor, like a 1440p or whatever, that's you're gonna want to have to uh, not 1440p, but uh, just whatever 20 like in the ultra HD monitors. Uh, 
in fact, if you're running 1440p, this is this is even better because you can reduce it even more and you're going to get a really, really fucked up blurry image. But it's going to at least uh, run at really, really high FPS. Anyway, the point is that um, this is a nice list of all of the uh, different aspect ratios or different pixel it's, they're not different aspect ratios. It's all 16 by 9, but it's the different pixels. It's just a list of different pixels. But it also shows you which ones are divisible by 8, which is going to preserve the picture more. Um, and how it like just shows up on your screen. I didn't use 1536 by 864. I'm going to put these in the uh, description box below, the ones I used, and this one. Um, but this seems to be probably the most optimal reduced resolution um, that is accessible with Halo Infinite. I found when I try to do like uh, 1280 by 720 or even 1408 by 792, this is the one one of the ones I have in my custom list. Um, it didn't work. It was cutting off bottom of the, uh, the bottom part of the screen. Like it didn't really matter, but like the center of my screen's off off kilter. So like you can the center of your screen wasn't the, like where the crosshair was. So that's not you don't want that. That's not what you want. Um, but I did find with uh, some of the other resolutions, I think I tried 1440 by 810 and also 1742 by 828. This is the one that's divisible by four. So, you know, I figure that would be better than not divisible by eight. But I think I'm going to try 1536 after this. It was all just for testing purposes. Also, it really does look very bad. But maybe, maybe if I put it on 1536, it might look a lot better. In fact, so let's just add that resolution now. So I'll show you how to create a resolution. Um, and like I said, if you're going off of like a 21 by 9 monitor, or ultra HD or ultra wide monitors, whatever they're called. Um, I've never used one, so that's why I'm so unfamiliar with it. I mean, I've used one, but I, I've never owned one. So uh, let's just add this here. We're going to add a resolution. 1536. This is very difficult for me to do. I know it seems like it's very easy, but I'm doing it in a very, in like a smaller window with a lower resolution. Um, by 864, cool. Right, that's the right one, 1536, 864. Color dip 32, scan type progressive. Uh, and then also make sure your refresh rate is correct. So like my monitor is 240 hertz, so I have a 240 hertz refresh rate. Make sure yours is, like, if you're doing 144, make it at 144. Uh, and then let's see what happens when I test this out. This is probably not going to work perfectly. Mm -hmm. Where's my mouse? Okay, we'll keep it. Yes. Okay, cool. Yay. All right, okay, cool. So now we've, we've created that custom resolution, right? Now restart your computer that should activate the image scaling if you already have it activated you probably don't have to restart at this point um but all you're trying to do is get that custom resolution to show up and what the image scaling does is when it's already in uh uh this custom resolution that you've created so now we're going to apply it right so let's pretend you've restarted your computer and now you've added this right we're going to apply this resolution I'm sure it works Bang, it's working, cool. Okay, and actually on my monitor that it should work on, it does work on currently right now, so that's good. Um, perfect. Now on top of that, you wanna use the reduced scaling within Halo. So, in the other video that I showed, I showed you how to access this file really quickly. Um, I'll show you how to do it again really fast. What you want to do, so let's pretend. So now you've 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 set this as your custom resolution. You've now changed your monitor to that. You've restarted your computer. Your new your new resolution on your monitor is 1536 by 864. Fantastical. We love that. That's our favorite thing in the world. And also, just to double check, we have image scaling on. Right? We can see it. The green thing's on. We have sharpening up to 100. You can see it's on because it's green on the top left. If you have a blue thing in the top left, that means it's not working. Make sure you've restarted your computer. Make sure you're in a reduced resolution if you need to be. Um, and uh, 
the only reason why we're making custom resolutions is because in Halo Infinite, it doesn't allow you to do full screen mode and then also doesn't allow you to change your resolution within game. It only gives you a like a scalar resolution that it projects the game in. So that's why we're making custom resolution for this game. This should work for other windowed games, just so you know. Um, and I should give out credit to the dude I found. The, you, he, I was watching a live stream of a guy, of a guy do this, but... It was kind of, I wasn't really understanding what he was doing at the time, so it kind of took me some time to figure it out on my own. But I'll, if I find the video, I'll post that too. Um, shout out to that guy. I subbed him, so I'll look. Anyway, so we've added image scaling. Sharpening is up to 100. Like I said, that's subjective. That doesn't really matter. We have the green in the top left. And now what we want to do is also go into the app data folder for Halo. Right, so you can see on the top right here, so it's C users, me, app data, local, Halo Infinite settings. And then we're gonna open up this file, which we've already done, right? And that's gonna bring out the, can I just go, uh, whatever, it's fine, we can do this. And that, cool. And then what we wanna do is on this, this specific um, special control, well, spec, spec control resolution scale, we have that valued at 50. That's the, I believe that's the lowest it's going to go. I don't know if that's a fact, but that was the lowest I've ever got it to work, at least in my eyes. So that's the one I'm going with. 50 seemed to have worked. Um, the lowest in games is 71, and when you change your resolution, it's going to say like 91. But in the, in the file, you can change it to 50. I'll put that in the, in the uh, description below too, so you can just copy and paste it if you want. Um, special control resolution scale. So make sure that's set as well. Now, this is gonna be the hardest part. I'll show you how this works, but this should this should give you about, I was getting 90 FPS. And uh, we can just um, minimize all this. Now, it's gonna be a little bit less too, because I have Halo open, or uh, not Halo, but. Um, okay, so normally you get this could not find compatible graphics device, right? Because I'm on a GT 1030, it shouldn't really work. Hit continue. Now, let's see if I can get this over to the right window. Okay. And it didn't really work exactly how I want it. Um, oh, that's because this monitor's playing in the wrong resolution. Interesting. Okay, so let's just try this one more time. Because this should really mess everything up. You can see right now how bad it looks. Oh, the other quick thing. Now, just so you make sure always. See, I'm getting 70, between 70 and this is a lot of things. Make sure within your task manager. This is a big thing also. Details, Halo Infinite, set priority to high change priority now like I said this is kind of messed up because I'm streaming it um, but don't forget that always go in your task manager and set priority to high uh, display settings let's see if I have to go to this one and then this should be that new special resolution we made right it's just not displaying the way it should but it, it it's working so what was it 1536 by cool yeah, yeah, yeah keep those changes for now perfecto Cool. So we're getting the black bars on YouTube, but you can see. Uh, actually, we shouldn't be getting black bars because this is not getting stretched out. Is that the correct resolution? Extend these displays. Is 1536 by 864 the right one? Boop a doo doo um, I think that was what it was. Let's look at this again. 1536 by 864. Yes, that's a 16 by 9 resolution. I don't know why black bars are showing up in the video. Oh, no, no, no. It's completely fine. It's just the way I'm looking at it in the in the OBS. Okay, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Anyway. Uh, cool. All right. So now you can see, one of the ways I normally check is when you go into this multiplayer window, see, I'm getting a lot more FPS than what I normally would. I think it's displaying a little bit more, like... Um, it's not giving me the FPS I want because it's running it in a separate display and I have like Firefox opening everything else um, and I'm streaming this but this is the way to get the most FPS 
uh, you'll see that it's actually, if we go into the settings right now, it's hard for me to do this. If we go into the settings right now, video, see like the lowest it goes is 88, 1532, but it's actually lower than that. Or 1352 by 760. Um, it actually goes lower than that. And I've actually tried that resolution too, and the game gets cut off at that point too, so that's not what you want. Um, don't do that. But other than that, you know, most people will tell you, just turn down all your settings and like delete all your applications and turn off Windows and uninstall Windows entirely. Um, if you're not using a, a GT 10 series uh, or GTX 10 series or above, for NVIDIA at least, I would not use Async Compute. I don't know how it works with AMD. Um, but I think that's what, that's the general consensus online. So don't use async compute if you're using like the nine series. So if you're using like the one Oh X GPU, use that for Nvidia or above. But like, if you're using the earlier versions, I would just not have that on. I, I, I imagine. And then, like I said, I have sharpening all the way to a hundred. That's subjective. We can work around with that too. Um, I gotta be honest. I think the picture does look better that, uh, now that I'm using it on, that that higher resolution i think it it just was getting a little bit extra blurry for no reason so maybe that's the answer like i said i had i had a couple of these different resolutions can we all tab out of here let's see what happens when i do this okay that worked okay so if you go into my custom resolutions i was trying to get like the most fps possible so i had it like at 14 oh eight by 792 i don't think that one worked i think the lowest one i got to work was 1440 by 810. That one didn't work. That's still cut off at the bottom. This one worked. That one worked. This one, I think, is the best so far. So I would go with 1536 by 864. You're probably not going to get that. Maybe that's the reason why it's not showing up as high as FPS. Let's, let's do this live. So if I do this now here... I don't know how this is going to work while I'm, while I'm running the game. Let's see. You can kind of see it here. But you kind of get the idea already. Uh, so I'm just kind of messing around. i got to change the, F, the, the resolution on this monitor as well. What was the one I went to? Eight. This kind of went up just a little bit. So the more you reduce the resolution, the high, higher it goes up. I think you can kind of tell, though, it blurred out the, the text a little bit more and whatnot. See, it's definitely a little bit higher now. Uh, Big Team Battle is like the one that's the hardest to get a lot of FPS on. I don't really want to wait in queue right now, plus the game crashes so goddamn much. I've been getting kind of pissed off. But I just do want to show you guys. That's the way you get it. NIS plus the image scaling inside of the game already, you get a super, super dog water quality image. But, um, yes, it does work. I get between, in certain parts of maps, like between 80 and 90 FPS on a GT 1030. So, so, so completely unsupported hardware. Um... I don't know what's the lowest you can go. Someone said in the comments they went like a MX 480 or whatever the hell it's called. Um, congratulations, you've won. But anyway, I hope this helps. I uh, hope this works for everybody. If you have any questions or if you want to just let me know any other things that you're doing, put them in the comments below. Appreciate it. Um, if you want, check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. And uh, hopefully I'll be seeing you on the battlefield, boys and girls. Okay, bye, y'all.